Welcome to Smart Accounting. Today we'll be going over the Accounts Payable module, Invoice Entry. Select Accounts Payable, then Invoice Entry. Before entering a new invoice, you can check to see if there are any outstanding purchase orders in your system. Click the search icon, then select the transaction. Next, click the Import Purchase Orders icon. To enter a new invoice, first, enter your batch name, and then select your bank code. Enter the period in which you want to post. Next, you can select a vendor by searching in the Vendor field. Type in any search criteria and then search. The program will use the information you entered and search against vendor names, codes, payees, and addresses found in the system. Select the appropriate vendor. Looking at your invoice, enter the invoice number, then the invoice amount. For filling in the date of the invoice and effective date sections, if either date is for the current date, you may tab through these sections and the correct date will be automatically filled. Otherwise, use the drop-down and select the date from the calendar. The description can also be entered directly from the invoice. Next, establish a payment group. The payment group will determine if the checks will be separated in the event that the vendor has multiple invoices or if you want to group invoices together. Then, you can assign a payment group number. Selecting S will separate the checks. If no payment group is selected, the system will place all the similar vendors on the same check based upon vendor name and vendor code. If you wish to hold the invoice for a certain period of time, you can select a date in the Hold Until field, keeping the invoice from posting until the date specified. Please note, Hold Until will not issue the check until that date. However, the costs will post to the ledger immediately. Once you tab down to the grid, you can enter the GL code, location code, episode number, account number, and any other necessary information. Once at the description field, if you want to carry down the description that was entered above, all you need to do is hit tab. The amount you will have to enter. If you wish to split the amount to individual line items, enter the first amount. Notice the line item total and the difference are listed above the grid. Tab through to the next line. Tabbing will automatically copy the information from the above cells. Copy and paste will also duplicate information in the grid. Once you're finished, you can hit F6 on your keyboard or click the diskette icon to save. Notice the icon turns an orange color when it's processing. Once this color goes away, you will be presented with the transaction number. It is a best practice to write down the transaction number on the invoice. You will then return on the invoice entry screen in the same batch from before. You are now ready to proceed to auditing your AP invoice. And that's entering an invoice in the Accounts Payable module. Thanks for watching.